Ah, the dynamic segmentation pattern. Okay, what is this about? It's basically classifying entities in your model based on the value of a measure. Example, I know it sounds very vague. The example would be um, you basically have a company, you have sales, and you want to kind of ban for each year, you want to ban your customers based on the amount of sales that are within that year, according to diamond, platinum, gold, and silver. Silver means sales from zero to 100. Diamond means sales between 2,000 and a billion. So how do we do that? So it's dynamic. It's calculated based on the measure, unlike the static one. So let's quickly jump into it. So first thing, first thing you need to do is you need to create your segmentation table. Same with the static one. We're going to use the data table DAX function to do that. So I'm going to paste that in there. Let's quickly create it. I'll show you how to do that. And then once you do that, you can see there you have that. But just make sure we put the sorting on based on the min cells. Okay, cool. So... Next thing, so now we can see there, those are our bands. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do a count of the number of clients with each one of those bands for each year. So what are we going to do? We're going to say, give us a matrix, put in the columns, the year, and then place in the segment, the segment name. This is going to break because we have a date table. So we have the segment table. It's not linked. But we have a date table linked to our fact, but those two are not linked, so there's nothing. The measure will actually contain the key here. So I'm going to say new measure. We're going to first start with the count. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a customer count measure. I'm just going to paste the code in here and guide you guys through it. This one is quite tricky. So first thing, it consists of many layers, but I want to take you to this inner query over here first. This one over here. This one, in this variable we declare over here, is actually a table variable. What we do here is we determine what the customer segment is, the current customer segment is, without the filter context of the year yet. We basically say, filter, create a table for customers based on what is the current sales amount for each customer. And then we put basically declare a, uh, a variable to, the, to understand what the segment would be based on those sales. So what seg segment do they fall in? Remember, the configuration table has no idea what year it is. Okay, and then we basically return the customer segment um, if it's not empty, and that's the return thing over there. Okay, once we know that, what we're going to do is we basically determining the result, which is the count rows of the dim customer table, which is dimension for customers. The count rows, remember, there's only one row of a customer in the dimension table. There's no multiple duplicate customers there, and we're basically doing it. Um, on the table created here with the customer segment over here. Done. And then we feed it a filter context because we have an if statement here. Only if it has one value. So in other words, we only look per year. So 20, 2010, 2011, 2012. And that will then... So basically this statement says if this is true. If there is one value, then give us a variable, 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 and then return the result, which is this one. So this will give the segmentation, the context of the year. Okay, we'd be kind of like hard-coded to look per year. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to quickly show you how that works. So now we say, cool, drag the customer in to the values. Now it's going to tell us, hey, here's the customer. You see, totals have nothing in it. So let's quickly test this out. I want to validate 2010 quickly. You look at 2010. Here's a data dump for 2010. So for 2010, you can see the sales here. We have two for um, platinum, sales platinum, and we have um, 12 that goes underneath diamond. Wonderful. If you apply a thing like your filter here for red, let's say we subdivide it, let's say this data set, we say it shows the reds only. There should be one under uh, platinum and seven under diamond. There we go. Excellent. See, that works. Next thing we want to do is, I'm going to take in context of the red. Let's keep red on here. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to now actually do it per sales amount. So we want to say there's one sale for di uh, for platinum at $6.99, and there is seven sales at the value of $25,000. How do we do that? Let's do a new measure. New measure, we say new measure. Paste it in there. Okay, cool. So you're familiar with this part of the query. It's exactly the same as the client count. And that determines the segmentation of a customer based on sales amount. It doesn't have filter context of year yet. Okay. 
Then you can see we use a sum x function, so uh, uh, a row context function that basically then gives this segmentation the context of the year. Okay, and then we calculate a total sales sales amount for this um, table based on the values for each year. Okay, repeat it for the segmentation of every year. So it does the same as the count one, but now it just does, it shows the total sales amount. Isn't that cool? Let's quickly test it out. I'm just going to format this baby so it's a little bit more readable. Let's make it currency. Let's make it zero decimals. Okay, cool. So bring in a table. We say bring in a table. Yep. Same thing as before. We're going to break it. We're going to say... Yeah, please bring the years in as columns, bring the segment in as a row, but now bring in the sales as a value. If you remember what we said, we're expecting 699 to be um, platinum and we're expecting 25 to be that given that filter context. And there it is. Isn't that cool? Okay, cool. Now I'm going to take you to the part of the video where we look at an individual case. I want to show you client count specifically for a client this one over here. You can see this client, we have, this client did business, a total, a total of 33 transactions um, in 2013 and 2014. So 29 transactions, 2013, four transactions, 2014. You can see it's, plat it's counted as one client um, under platinum 2013, one client in gold under there. And then you can see the total sales over there for each. Let's quickly test that. Just want to show you the data there. So for 2013, you can see we got 29 transactions, 29 transactions, 2013, yes. And then we have four transactions for 2014, correct. But it's only a client once in the 2013 year and once in 2014. And the total sales for 2013 should add up to 69823. 69823, which is platinum. And then for 2014, adds up to 187, which is uh, a gold. That's cool. There we go. Dynamic segmentation. Cool. I'll make another video soon. Cheers.